What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to replicate character models. So if someone changes their own character model, it updates for everyone. It's going to be a very easy to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so right now I'm in the third person template and I'm gonna go ahead and just go to the number of players, put it as two, and then say as a listen server. So now two windows opens, right? The main window is the server, and the second small window is the clan. So right now, of course, both characters are the mannequin. But what if we wanted to switch between different models? Well, there's a couple of approaches. We could go ahead and create a totally independent blueprint, right? So we will have two blueprints, one for one character and another one for another character. But that's not very optimal. What we are going to do is go ahead and just change the skeleton mesh, just like that. So let's go ahead and open up the third person cat blueprint or whatever cat blueprint you're using. And what I'm going to do is that for one of the players, we're going to switch off character. So I'm here in the begin play, right? When the game starts and I'm going to go ahead and just say, OK, mesh set skeleton mesh asset and then instead of the normal queen that we have let's change to for example the mannequin right if we do this right of course everything will work but as you can see things are not working just how they should <laughs> right one player is on one reality the mannequin but in the other reality they're just the old mannequin right so what's going on they're not really syncing right this is because we are only changing this locally on our own machine not across the network so to do just go ahead and apply this throughout the whole network we have to create one thing called rpc this done by just right clicking and create a new custom event and let's call this something as you know change character model okay now this change character model will be replicated as multicast multicast is just an event that executes in all of the clients okay so this will actually be the one that contains the whole logic all right but the thing is that only servers can execute multicast events so on top of this we have to create another rpc aka replicated custom event which is going to be called change character model server and you guessed it in the options when i say replicate it as run on server and this run on server will call the change character model one which is this one which is multicast okay so that way if the client calls this custom event it will go through the server first and then it will execute everything that's just needed on how the unreal engine replication system is built okay so with that said we're good we just need to do one little thing let's go ahead and output this as a parameter right so the new mesh is as a parameter so drag this to the new pin and let's do exactly the same with the other one drag new pin it's going to be the new mesh so now on the begin play we can simply get this right and first of all let's add a little delay of like 0.3 seconds why well the thing is that when we press play the second client takes a bit to load so it's just you know saving us errors and after the delay we can simply say change character model server okay it always has to go to the server first let's go ahead and make sure that we have a different skill to match for example the old Unreal Engine 4 mannequin and that's it now I do recommend to increase the delay to maybe even two seconds because the client simply takes more time to open up so if we press this you will see that happens for the server and then for the client okay so very important make sure you always have certain delays or retrievable events okay so this will happen in a loop 
through the whole game so when new people join it will always update for them or even better just create a join based event so when someone joins the game it will automatically trigger all these events one time and it will just update right that's just better but yeah it's up to you as you can see now it's working and of course this will work if you want to do it only for one player or not by just saying okay for example switch on uh, authority right has authority right so only the uh, for example the the server will execute this over here as you can see only the server has the new skin right or if we go ahead and change this to be remote which is client so only the client right and not the server will have as you can see this update so it's up to you it's really powerful so just remember this kind of server and multicast combo and you can do pretty much anything with multiplayer in Unreal Engine 5 to update its custom meshes or whatever you need. So that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like the video subscribe to my channel. You can download this private files on my Unreal Club and many more things, so check it out with the link in the description. Now yes, with all I said, bye bye.